Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of A Way Out. I am joined by Zeofi. Howdy. In the last episode, we were being chased by dogs. Jay got um, a chunk of his arm bit. Oddly enough, I'm not seeing any damage now, so, like, maybe yeah. I'm an actual Wolverine? <laughs> <laughs> Ran from the cops, oh. did a little bit of fishing, you know, yeah. just an outdoor experience. Nothing not yep. ordinary. We're just two guys. Yep. Oh, no, no, this shirt, this is just a fashion statement. We're not escape convict. No, no, no. Now, this looks like a place that would have somebody with a shotgun. <laughs> Vincent, see that house? Let's check it out. Yeah, this is going that this way. is some this is something that Just the looking. cops would be all over. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm just looking around to see if there's any other way. Okay, no. Just the one way. Yeah. Just double checking. Never be too sure with games like these. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Ago? State police put out a warning today, urging every law-abiding citizen within a 50-mile radius of the prison. Don't you worry, honey. Those two fools come around here. They'll get a taste of old Betsy. You aren't wrong about that shotgun. I say we take them out. Are you crazy? It's an old couple. We can't do that. I don't mean it like that, man. I mean we tied them up with something. We really need to change clothes. We can't walk around like this. I don't like it. It's better to get them out of the house. What you have in mind? See that barn over there? Yeah. We release the horses. We release the horses? How's that gonna help? Trust me. They'll be forced to go get them back. I don't know, man. Oh, you wanna go Shot. horses? Whatever, okay. Man, let's try it. Okay. I don't wanna hurt you. <laughs> I don't want I don't wanna hurt him either, but either way we're gonna be giving out away our presents. Crap. It's locked. Okay. No shit. How do you know they got horses in there? It's a horse barn, Leo. What else should they have? But still, you sound so sure. I mean, it could also be empty. You hear that? Yeah, I do. It sounds like it's horses. Like they have horses. Uh, I have a feeling we're probably gonna be going up the. Okay. We can crawl through that barn hatch. Let's find something to climb up there. Ah, found it right over here. Honestly, I would have said hop the fence and go up the hay elevator. To me, that would yeah. make more sense. Vincent, this might be able to scare the horses. Vincent, first we release the horses, then we push this piece of shit down. There are the horses. I'm not sure about this, but let's release them. Here you go, buddy. Let's release the others, too. Of course. Freedom for all. Ah, it's Can't locked. argue with that. What's wrong with this lamp? Come on, you piece of shit lamp.
Are you being a nice guy and just fixing the lamp for them? I guess. I saw something to interact with. I wonder if I can scare a horse with this. Maybe it's too much. What about this? Nah, that's not gonna work. Now we just need to scare him out of here. Let's head back. It's Met Mixer. I know. Don't you want to be free? <laughs> Help me push this thing. I'm working on it. Jesus, you can't do anything by yourself? It's a fucking cement mixer, not a goddamn bale of hay. <laughs> Escaping, honey. Oh dear, didn't we lock the barn? Of course I did. Come on, let's go. Now get See, get Betsy. I told you. Yeah. Let's just hope these horses keep running. They will. Nice house. Uh, hi, is this Steve? No? Rob? I've never really no? been a hat man. No. Hey, one large with extra pepperoni, please. Thanks. I used to be pretty good at this. Steady now. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. This must be one of the new fancy models. Uh, I'm sorry. Wrong number. Are you gonna quit crank calling people and letting them know <laughs> everybody know where we are? Like, there shit, man! There's a wardrobe here. Let's change. I haven't cleaned myself in days. Seriously, dude. Upstairs, get changed. Ah, oh, man, the cold one would be I careful. I can't believe these were actually used in wars. I knew it. It's only decorative. Okay, you you want to go get changed? Like we have couch. we have limited amount of time. Sit on the couch. Shut up and shut up. sit on the couch or sit down somewhere. Wherever we'll let you. Turn on the TV. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our show Paranormal Activities and Other Disappointments. Last week we Achievement. met who claimed mm -hmm. convincingly that he could burn, that he could self combust. We generously gave him a chance to prove it, but he couldn't even produce a spark. Now it's time to move on to our next hopeful guest. With us today, we have Steve Bannerson. Welcome, Steve. Thank you, thank you. And from what my producers have told me, you claim that you can fly? That's absolutely correct. Oh, see me. Fly for sure. Oh, so, uh, see me. When did you find out that you had this ability to fly? 
Okay, um, just hang on. Oh, we missed one achievement. Matter of detail. I get blocked, sort of. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure about the technical aspect of it, but I think it's because the energy that people send out, or kind of like photons or whatever is going on, that could be the issue. Ah, I see. I have to do it alone. Okay. Uh, okay. You mentioned photons? Uh, yep. Not here. So something to do with light emission? Yeah, yeah, light. My light particles? <laughs> well, I'm not really into the whole science of it, man. Need you to come here. It's hard to light a fire without wood. I just concentrate and levitate. And I've gotten pretty good at it. Uh, and how much LSD do you One. Like to <laughs> Two, three. Yeah, it depends on what day it Try again. Is. You see, it's a good... Actually, I'm glad. I'm glad that you asked this question. LSD is so I've always wanted to do that. Okay, anything else? I Is need that? you on the way so I can go get changed. Oh, I said we missed one achievement. What's that? Just something that we were supposed to do a little bit earlier. Mm. My eyes are starting to look puffy. Yeah, this will do. And the shotgun might come in handy. Interesting. Any other achievements in around here we need? Uh, nope. Um, actually. Yep. <clears throat> For me. Into the day room here. Play the piano. What piano? Oh, there it is. Damn it. Ow. Ah, uh, go easy. Hang on. Switch. Switch. You play the piano, banjo, I'll play the piano. supposed to do to get this? Hang on.
Leo needs to pick up the banjo. Vincent must play the piano for this achievement. I have no idea who's who. Oh, come on. Are you Leo or am I Leo? I'm. I think I'm Vincent. Okay. So. Literally, what's the objective in order to get this achievement? Because I'll tell you straight out, right? If we got to do this perfectly, there's no. No, it's just it's supposed to. It's supposed to. We're each supposed to hit about 15 notes. Uh, head downstairs and into the sun lounge where the uh, old couple w were sat at the table. In this room is a banjo and a, le and a piano. Leo needs to pick up the banjo, and Vincent must play the piano for the achievement. Select easy. After getting about 15 notes in a row successfully, you will trigger cutscene and unlock. In a row. Yeah. So we both got to get them in a row. Fuck. And yeah, I'm supposed to be on the banjo. I'm done with that. I've always hated rhythm games, and that's one of those. Get to the chalk! Okay, truck is... Where? Trucks over here. Get over here and help me with this door. Some help, please. No, do it yourself. God, it's a piece of junk. 
It's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Looks like one of the tires is dead. Hey, it's even missing wheel. Nah, I'm sure there's a spare around here somewhere. I don't know. Wagon man. or truck? It's not like we have a choice. Sherby's running on foot. Let's fix it up and we'll be out of here in no time. <sighs> All right, fine. This could probably lift the car. Ready, Leo? Yeah. Let's find something to lift the car. All right, tire. Here I come to screw you. You're doing a good job. Keep it hey, up. Vincent, I see a tire over there. Let's find a way to get up there. I think I might have to hold on to that. We could use this to fasten a new tire. No, can't go up that way. Okay, so, uh... Bring that all the way over this way. Yeah, okay. Grab the lug wrench. I'm just going to jump down from here. <gasps> cool. I have to go get it. Can't just drop down with the lug wrench. Alright. Now it's attached. We just need to find a lug wrench to fasten it. Yeah, that might be a problem. The battery seems dead. We should attach the wheel before we remove this. We might have an issue. Can't pick up the lug wrench. I can't anyway. Good that you were able to. I can do everything myself. Can't even pick up a damn wrench. Yeah, look around for like a spare battery or something like that because we're gonna have to boost the truck. Now we need something to lift up the pickup to remove the support. Ah, it's stuck. I guess we need to lift up the car before removing this. Okay. Wait, the car has four wheels now. That's a good start. And I guess we're gonna have to push start it. Go? I don't let go. Did you let go? Whatever. Let's go get it. 
You didn't crash into something. Uh huh. Yeah, we could always boost it off the tractor. These jumper cables might refresh the battery. Just gotta open the hood. Jumper cables, perfect. Let's pop the hood and try them. Jumper cables, perfect. Let's pop the hood and try them. Hey, Leo, try starting the car now. I would if I saw a car. Seems like it's out of gas. <sighs> Always something. Yeah. A gas canister. I bet it still has some gas. I rock. It's Jack filled up with gas. Wonder if it will start. Boom. Crap. There's no way you're beating that. A perfect throw. What a throw. Yes. I was born to do this. I want to see Leo do a better throw. I'm the champion. <laughs> no kidding. My problem is I couldn't get the, um, couldn't get it on the up throw. I was not having much luck. The battery seems dead. Hmm. Not gonna work. It's connected. Try to start uh, the car now. Yeah, yeah. It actually worked, this piece of junk. Yeah, I told you so. You did, but still, I was in doubt. Drop the hood, Sometimes and let's get the hell out of here before the guy with the shotgun comes back. Hey, so. Yeah, well, let's get out of here. Yes? No, I don't know. It was a while ago. We need your help now, officer. Okay, hurry up, please. Absolutely. Thank you. Are the police on their way yet? Yes, they'll be here any minute. Okay, I'll go take care of them. No, just stay here. It's all right. Just wait here. I'll be fine. Filthy scum! Oh, shit! Take cover! You're gonna pay for this! Come on, let's go! Yeah. You got it! Come on! Come on! Yeah. Come on! Go, 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 go! Damn it! See, if we had taken them out, I would have gotten a handgun, and you would have had a shotgun still. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no, I don't want to hurt them. You didn't want to hurt them either. We still wanted to knock them out. Hey, face it! we got cops coming! Step on it! Uh, get this piece of shit going faster! Just sit down, Leo! You're gonna fall off! All right, here we go. No here shit. They come. Hold on back there. Just focus on driving, man. I'll keep them off our backs. Uh, the guns on me that you are relying on me for driving support. Oh shit! This is gonna be 
Screw this dude, can't keep the thing straight and straight. Doesn't help when they're running into me. How much ammo do you have? I don't know. Unlimited, it seems. Yeah. Hold on back there. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Where did all these cars come from? I don't know where. Goddamn cars getting going faster. Come on, come on, baby. Just keep it steady. Here you go, you cut. Hold on back there. This might get bumpy. I can't hit anything while you drive like that. I'm doing my best over here. Well, I can't drive well if you keep getting if I keep getting <laughs> smashed by fucking cop cars. So much I can fucking do. They keep putting logs in my way. Spikes are out. We got him now. All units from south to the bridge. Stop! You're under arrest. Stay where you are. Freeze! You okay? Stop! Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Come on. I was aiming to go around the fucking cop cars. We can't stay here. You see, this wouldn't have happened if we knocked the old couple out. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Jesus Christ. Yep, fucking right. It was gonna happen regardless, I guarantee you. Come on, go, go, go! Push! Push! Why'd you leave the shotgun? But this is actually about wrapping up point. That was a rather after the cut after the cut scene. Yeah. Where the hell does this river take us? I have no idea, but the further away, the better. Yeah, I guess you're right. Except a single helicopter would fuck us over. All right, start rowing. We need to get going. Hey, Vincent. Yeah? I think I saw something in the water. It's probably a shark, Leo. What do you mean? There are no sharks in this water. How do you know? It's sweet water. You're a clever guy, Leo. But I really saw something, though. Probably a fish. Yeah, whatever. A fish. Probably salmon. You know what? Could have been a crocodile. Stop. Seriously? I don't like crocodiles. Well, watch out then. <laughs> hey, Vincent. Yeah. You think there are any bears in these woods? There are probably bears in these waters, Leo. Ha! <laughs> like Shit. I believe that. Ow. Looks like our peaceful boat ride is over. Some rough streams ahead. We are going to sink. We need to go straight. 
No, one of us has to be on each side to go straight. Get over on my side. Other side. Left, left, left. Steer left. Hey, watch out! Some rough streams up ahead. We don't need to push this. Wouldn't it be fast if I just jumped in and swam? Yeah, sure. Oh, boy. You try that. I'll just stay in the boat. I think we're through the wars today. The rest is you just paddle a little bit. Ride. I think Waterfall. you spoke too soon, Leo. Stop. Look straight ahead. Uh -huh. Holy shit! Ah! No shit, Sherlock. Battle. We're not done yet. Shit. Go left. Watch out for that rock. Nope, that's gonna. Oh, that was close. The fuck? <laughs> Get on the other side. Maybe not. I don't think that's gonna help. I found. What the hell? Vincent! That was bullshit. That was definitely bullshit. Come on, grab it! Come on! Probably help if we didn't trash the boat that as much. You see, if you did that right the first time, I wouldn't have gone down that second time. Jackass? You okay? I'm okay. Let's get out of here. All right. He hey. him. Welcome to the Switch 25. You can refer to me as yeah. he him. So. Well, I can't say I've ever actually had anyone ask me what my pronouns are. Look, I know what you're thinking, but going after Harvey won't be easy. I know, but I'm going after him, with or without you. You want to end up dead? I want him gone. He's a cold-blooded killer. The world's going to be a better place without him. You never told me, Leo. What is your story with Harvey?
before I got busted. Me and Harvey made a huge score. Bank job? No. You ever heard of a Black Orlov? Are you serious? The diamond? How the hell did you pull that off? A lot of planning and a bit of luck. So what happened? Everything was going our way. We even had a buyer. But that greedy fuck had other plans. Nope. Nice car. It's all there. Count it. Looks about right. <clears throat> of course it is. You can always trust me. No, I'm not trusting nobody, my friend. Here you go. What do you think? Uh, it's heavier than I thought. It is. Pleasure doing business with you guys. You too. Give me the case! What the fuck are you doing? Give me the fucking case, Leo! Hand it over, now! This is nothing personal, it's just business. Give me Bullshit. the briefcase. Next thing I know, I'm surrounded by cops. That's rough. I'm sorry. Oh, trust me. He's the one who's gonna be sorry. I'm making things right for me and for my family. Hmm. So do you know where Harvey is right now? I know one of his guys, Ray. He'll know for sure. So? What are we waiting for? Let's go after him. You really want to take Harvey down, huh? Like I said, with or without you, I'm going after him. Okay. All right. Where can we find this Ray guy? Don't worry, he's gonna be easy to find. But I need to make sure my family's safe first. Of course. Let's go. Don't go too far, Alex. Mom? Mom! What is it, honey? What's wrong? Alex? Alex! Leo, can I ask you something personal? Yeah, sure. How do you and your wife manage to stay together in this line of work? We've always been together. 
You know, she knows me better than I know myself. I was 12 when we met at the orphanage. Orphanage? You could say that my parents didn't do their job. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. I barely remember that. Besides, I was fortunate enough to have Linda. She was crazy. You know, we used to run away together. Steal ice cream, cigarettes, shit. It's always been us against the world. Still is. No matter what. That's just how it is. Sounds great. Wow, cutscenes. All right, keep an eye out for my family. It's a woman and a boy, about this size. You don't know where they live? They had to move while I was inside. I see. Let's just have a look around. I'm sure we'll find them. Yeah. Okay. Life looks rough out of here. You got that right. Never actually set foot in a place like this before. Oh, yeah? Mr. Fancy Pants with a college degree and a banking job? Not like any of that helped. I'm here with you now. Should be happy. I'm great to be around. Keep telling yourself that. Anyway, let's find your family. Okay. All right. So, what do you think so far there, Jay? We could have done a hell of a lot better in that boating section. Yes. But we made it. That's all that matters. We didn't drown. Well, well it, it doesn't help that the, the initial port w part was like we were already past the wrapping up point. So it's like, okay, well, I was, I was setting up to wrap up, so I didn't pay attention to what the hell the directions were. <laughs> yeah. for, how to, for how to pilot the damn thing. Uh, but still, that was... Uh, that was a, that was an episode. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Uh, I still think we should have knocked the old granny out. <laughs> the old man. Because then it wouldn't have alerted any of the cops of what was going on. It would have happened the same. Are you serious? Yes. Jesus. We still would have been chased by the cops. That's stupid. Then again, they would have had roadblocks out and everything else like this, so... Ah, oh, well. So... Our... Thank you everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to check out more of my content, you can check me out under Zeal Fate on YouTube and Twitch. And for 19 Death Town 69, you can check out his content on YouTube and Twitch. We do have a community Discord where you can talk to us or Tamapanda and Relentless Undead. Link will be in uh, his below description and mine's on the about page. So, with that all being said, we hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time. Until next time.